these here are my current reels from Olympus SRL from Italy. Aloha guys, Scooby Chris here. Just got in this pretty decent looking parcel uh, overseas from Italy. And I kind of know what's up in it. It says Olympus. Olympus is the European, well, the Italian counterpart of Mustad and Okuma. As you can see here, look at the tape, right? The tape will say that on it as well as all the stickers on it. But if you live in Europe, basically because of international whatever, you cannot, they make it very hard to buy um, American Mustad and um, Okuma products. Same for us here. It makes it very hard for us to buy products from them. But there are um, through there are ways through mail order dealers that you can. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up because it's been a while since I got the last one. And the last one took me, God, I think it took me a, a long time to get into it. It was like this. It's very, very well packed. These guys, they know how to pack stuff because it comes overseas. And this was um, delivered here to DHL. I mean, they do really good job of packing this stuff. This is my second box. See, the first box I got was a smaller box and it had this. That is the Krato 6000. Now this one here, I, I really like this reel. Um, so kind of curious to see what else I'm getting. Holy shit. Well, excuse me. <laughs> can I see that? I guess I can. If not, I'm gonna hear about it. Holy moly. Ooh. Wow. I got another one. Oh, and another one. Wow, wow. Another one. Ooh. Well, they could be all different reels. I mean, they're all, the, they call them uh, X6X. They're all under that brand. Okay, make sure this is just home chips. All right. Ah, <laughs> well, let's talk about early Christmas or birthday, but damn. So, let me put it down. This is this, this, this here. This is what I just got. All right, this is what I had before. So let's see what we got here. So, <laughs> all right. This is what was in there. Now this is the same as the one I've already highlighted. I'll just kind of give it a quick look because Got to make sure everything arrived good. This is the 4,000? 4, 4,000. These come in either 4,000 or 6,000 sizes. It has an impressive 35 pound max drag. 35, I'm sorry, 35 uh, kilogram max drag, which is 77 pounds, which is something. All right, this one here is the one I've already received before. This is the 4,000 size. This is a 4,000 and a, wrong way, 4,000 and 6,000. So this is the 4,000 size. Okay, you always, anytime you get anything in the mail, you wanna check that it works okay. This has an impressive, very, very impressive uh, drag system to it. 35 kilograms, which is 77 pounds. 
And what I like about this, there's no need for a Gomexis knob, because look at that. To me, that's quite impressive. And it comes with it. This one here, this is called Heroes. As you can see the stats there, Heroes. This is the largest of two models. It has some uh, mechanical stabilizing system, quick set anti-reverse system. Uh, Berries is five plus one, so that's pretty much standard. And it's a 10 uh, kilogram max, which is just a hair over 22 pounds, which is good enough for most applications. And it's a 5,000 size, so let's see what this looks like. Boy, talk about surprises in the mail. Ooh, you know, I got a rod that has those colors in it. It's actually, at the Zoo Brothers show, I, I got left with some rods um, from Mustad. They're gonna be coming out this year. I have a rod, I mean, yeah, I have a rod that exactly this color, black, in this exactly type of green. I'm gonna have to pull that out. 5,000 size, it it actually does look like a Americanized 5,000 size. You gotta remember, this is on the European system, but I would say this matches up. Heroes, GTX 5000, GTX 5000. Hmm. As a uh, okay, switch here. Anti first. Unusual looking switch. Look at that. It is kind of I'm not never seen one quite like that. Interesting. 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 I like the colors. It's kind of like neon colors. Weight is feels like what it should be. Wow. I wonder if this is the first one that's ever come into the US. Hmm, interesting. Okay, right here, the handle here, this is aluminum. The spool is aluminum. And the bell wire, bell wire, which is not bad. I kind of like that thick bell wire. That's all aluminum. Body is carbon. The body here is carbon, so that's good. That means it's going to be corrosion resistant. The rotor system is an electronic balance system. So it's going to keep everything in tune. Uh, handle is your basic EVA handle, you know, for when your hands get wet. This is called the GTX 5000. Gear ratio is 5.2 to 1, which means for every one uh, one turn of the knob, you're going to get, what, let me see. Okay, for every one turn of the knob, you're going to get uh, 5.2. So you, this is going to go around 5.2 times under one revolution of the knob. The weight is 335 grams, so that is 11.82 ounces. So it, it's actually where it should be, maybe on the lighter side. Max drag in this is eight kilograms, which is 22 pounds. Again, um, pretty much where it should be. Main thing is line capacity. This is a 5,000 reel. What I, the first thing I noticed though is is the shaft look at the diameter of the shaft it does look a little bit thinner than what i'm used to but i don't know i haven't got it 5000 reel in a long time but it does look just to me like just a little bit thinner than what i'm used to i could be wrong on that so mono capacity in this uh 0 0.35 is 310 yards which is basically 12 pound mono uh 0 0.40 mm that's going to be 240 yards of 15 pound mono and 0 0.45 mm will be approximately 190 yards of 20 pound mono. I still like the way it looks though. So I just took this off. So obviously it can be um, 
going back and forth if you're right-handed or left-handed. I'm just looking at the setup here. Um, I wonder if, if I can take this off and put a Gomexis on it, but that's at a, for a later date. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not used to a lot of this foreign stuff. Very interesting. So this straighting here, when I put the handle in, I can see it's gonna go directly into this there. See that? So I'm gonna screw this in from the other side. It's gonna fit in there like so. And there you go. I was a little bit thrown off at first because normally you would put the handle in and, and tighten it down. This is the first time I've seen a system where you put this in, handle first, and you screw this in to lock it down. I've never encountered something like this. But like I said, you know, I've been buying American reels all my life. So I guess this is how it works when in Italy or Europe or you know, other other countries. But this should be interesting. I'm gonna have to give this a whirl. This is a 5,000 size, or you may wanna call this a beefed up 4,000, which is kinda of what it looks like. Because this little tab does not screw in there, do not lose this. I can tell you right now, do not lose this. That's the first thing I can tell you. I'm learning as I go along too. Okay, this one here is called the Accord 40S. This is the larger of the two, the small one being the 30S. Uh, you gotta bear with me because this is the first time I've ever had to deal with um, foreign reels and instead of a piece of paper, I just noticed it's, you get your part list on the cover. Things are done differently. And over here is the inventory for the cover. Interesting. Ooh, nice colors. Black, chrome, and red. Okay, let's see what this one's all about. What size is this again? Ah, okay, this is a 40, so it's a 4,000 size. Makes sense, because it's a little bit smaller than the one I just took out. Okay. Hmm. The hand, look at the handle. That's kind of cool, yeah? I kind of like that. Very, very interesting. Anti-reverse on this one. Yep, ooh, this one's a good knob on that. Okay. Hmm. Vented hand, uh, handle support. Let's see. I'm just learning along with you guys because this is all new to me too. Looks like you got your line keeper right there. Interesting. That's a really interesting. Look at that. Kind of like a retaining um, ring with um, a catchment system here and the bottom is rounded to match that very very interesting it is lightweight I give it that this is this is something I'm learning it's something I'm not used to handling or seeing one thing I noticed on this one it doesn't have the thicker bail handle um, wire bail like the other unit just had is this is different the thickness is not as thick as the other one so you got to be careful of that hmm okay this one i can just screw this and tighten it up all righty This one is not as smooth as the other one. 
I mean, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. It's just not as smooth as the other one that I just looked at, the 5,000. This is the 4,000, but this is the smallest of um, the Accord series. This is the 40 and the other is the 30. <sighs> okay, interesting. So in this one, the frame, the side plates, the spool is all aluminum, make it light. And when I picked it up and I'm still handling it, 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 it feels very, very light. Um, the rotor is carbon though. And being carbon, that makes it uh, corrosion resistant, which is always a good thing. This one, oh wow, I'll be damned. This one is pretty impressive. 10 plus one, ball bearings. The other one had, I believe five plus one, but this one here is 10 plus one ball bearings. And 10 of, uh, when I say 10 plus one, 10 is stainless steel ball bearings, and one is a roller bearing. And this is known to be ultra thin structure design. It, I already picked up on that by, by the thinness of the aluminum used, uh, right down to the bell wire. This is very, very thin. It's a ultra thin, thin structural design. But it says here that it has impact resistant and built to be impact resistant. Well, for one thing, because it's light, if you drop it, I can see less damage being done because it's not that thick. It has a quick sit anti-reverse. Flick the switch back. There we go. This is, they call it a one-way clutch with smooth transition, but that's what happens when you flick the anti-switch, uh, anti-reverse switch is you're gonna have that. Ah, that's what it's called. Okay, the, the inside where I showed you the hollow ring on the inside, that's called the hollow, that's called a carbon fiber rotor hollow design. That's what it's called. It's, it's something that's different. It, and also like the other one, this one has a micro drag system, which is good for, you know, click, click, click. So you can go, you don't want to go click, click and go from <coughs> a hookup to Oh no, the pole's about to bang because I put too much pressure. You want to have the micro clicking so you can alter how much pressure you're putting on the fish at all times. Now this one here, the max drag power is six kilograms, which is 13.2 pounds, which is okay. It's actually a little bit less than what I'm used to when it comes to um, a 4K reel. This is more to me like the specs of a 3000 reel, uh, but this might be built for fresh water rather than salt water, which I'm beginning to think it is. I'm not sure because if you go online, it's all in Italian. So it's all French to me, literally. <laughs> the screw and handle here is aluminum and has a mechanical stabilizing system, which might has something to do with that uh, cup shaped design. Alrighty. So, not too bad though, not bad at all. I like the fact that it has 10 plus one um, bearings. The 5.2 to one gear ratio, which means for every one turn, the spool is gonna rotate, this here, is gonna rotate 5.2 times. Line capacity for um, 0.205, um, you're gonna get uh, 280 yards for 0.235, 190 yards for 0.285, 125 yards. So it's Pretty much standard, it, it's actually to me, it seems like between a 3,000 and 4,000 on an American system, but that's just me. I like this one because when you when you uh, turn it, the handle comes in like that, I like that. The other one doesn't do that because you have to screw in the outside knob. So storing it is gonna be a lot different. Way, way different. Where, where did it go? Over here. Yeah, to store this one, I'm gonna have to store it with the cap loose because this will not work in it the same way. Actually, between the two, I'm kind of liking this one. I like the thicker um, bill wire. That's just me though. Everybody has their likes and dislikes. Um, like on the uh, first one I got, um, they had the higher 35 uh, kilogram max drag. I don't go specifically by max drag. It's important though, especially if you're like I like to go chalk and beach with your peers. You like to throw a line out. 
you kind of want to know that you can um, bring your fish up like your jacks and your bone fish will not the use of a net. Uh, in fact, uh, one person who bought those a couple of those units uh, messaged me on my um, a YouTube account saying that he was going to go ahead and get them because he fishes the same piers I do at Chocolate Beach and he had the same thing in mind. So for be uh, of piers or off a boat or especially a kayak, having that um, extra max drag does help because you are using shorter rods. So um, the fight will um, definitely be in your favor over the fish. Okay, I really wasn't expecting this one. I actually wasn't expecting uh, quite a few of them. I thought I was just getting another uh, Kratos uh, 4000. But this one here, interesting. This one is called the Chroma. Chroma 4 CHR 4000. Again, the larger of the two, the other one being a 3000. Alrighty, let me see now. How is this one going to be designed? Already I can see it has a thicker bail and um, thicker bail here. Not as thick as some, uh, some of the Okuma ones, but it's still thicker than the last one I just had. Okay. Hmm. So this means it's going to, I have to screw this down again. Yeah, and this one screws, um, clockwise and counterclockwise like we normally um for anything else it's just that when you when you when you screw in the um um handle then you have to do it the opposite way okay there you go uh in first impressions color is very good i mean the color leaches from the the main body to the the spool itself something you don't normally see Again, with that disc, look at that, the round disc, again with that, very different. I see that uh, an enhanced system like that on my strongest one, the Kratos 6000. I really wonder how that works. And again, the stem is, um, the threaded stem is very, it's much thinner than what I'm used to seeing for a 4000 reel. But I'm comparing it to the US version. This is a European version. Chroma. Hmm. Ooh. Hey, that's not bad at all. That's actually. That's actually not bad at all. Um, some pretty fancy markings over here, like uh carbon, some carbon um tagging. The black and orange looks really nice. Interesting. Okay, basic stats on this one. The gear ratio is 5.5 to 1, which means for every one turn of the handle, this here will go around 5.5 uh, times. The weight is 295 grams, which is pretty light. Max drag, um, 22 pounds which is okay. I mean, it's not um, really high, really low, but it's in there. It's okay. No problem. Um, I do like the colors though. It has that micro adjustments also. It has an aluminum handle with EVA knob on it. Uh, this body's been salt water treated. The aluminum body, um, I mean the aluminum um, yeah, loom body with the uh, spool has been salt water treated like most reels are. Seven plus one ball bearings. Very smooth. Look at that. It just keeps going. Seven plus one. Not bad. Has that quick set anti-reverse. If you engage the, where is it? There it is. There. Anti-reverse to it. See that? Gauge that. There you go. The aluminum bail wire is thick enough. It's not super thick, but it is thick enough, so that's okay. 
I know this one here is also electronically balanced rotor system. Uh, most of the better wheels nowadays are electronically balanced, so that's good. Has that micro drag system here, which is really good, so you don't um, over horse your fish or yank the hook out of its mouth when you're fighting it. And that the 10 kilograms of drag power does help. Not bad. The line capacity point uh, for mono point three zero is 180 yards. 0 0.35 is 150 yards and 0 0.40 110 yards which is the reason why a lot of people go with braid because you try to get as much line as possible on it so you go with braid these here are my current reels from olympus srl from italy